Stunningly beautiful morning. Not a cloud in the sky. But chilly, but beautiful. And look what I came out to this morning. Um, just one. I'm not sure if she has finished or if she's just having one. I'm just going to go and look at the top there where she had this lamb. Um, and I've got, um, I'm just going to spray the belly button area, the cord, because that prevents joint ill. You having a lie down? Hmm? Are we going to just try and uh, spray your tummy? You're bigger than Molly. Yes. Much bigger. <laughs> so this time, it's a little boy. So this is a boy. So she was lying up here near the mushroom rock. But um, she's obviously eaten the afterbirth, which is what sheep do. So she just had a single. So big. But he's a big boy, that one. That's a neighbor's sheep over there. Okay, so I'll keep her in. I'm just going to get a nice uh, new sleeve of hay for her that she can just eat hay while she's in here. There is a little bit of grass in here. But um, I'm just looking to see. There's no signs of she's either still going to have or that's it. Just one big single. He is much bigger than Molly was. And um, he's nice and dry already, so uh, she's cleaned him, which she's a good mommy. And uh, I'm sure he's had his first drink, so I'm just going to top up some fresh hay over here for her. She can see the others over there, so she's wishes she could be there, but I don't want this little one to walk around too much. But yeah. One big single, which is a bit of a relief because I was worrying about two big twins or triplets. Well done, Ruby. You did a very good job, my girl. Very good. Hello. But um, definitely got lots of milk. So we stand on the opposite shore. Check back again. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious seas. Strong. My holy hope. I look for the things I don't know. to keep her in for the next few days I won't let her out just so that the little one can get a bit stronger and I can make sure that it's drinking but she should have let me see yes Ruby there's the milk situation oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> Lots of milk. A whole stream came out. Yeah. For all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes on So I've been making all my little Christmas parcels over here and look who's come to visit Steve I'm here, I'm here. and Greg Greg has come to collect his parcel of goodies for Christmas So Oh and he's running away he da Greg doesn't want to be seen. Okay, Greg, we can. You know what? We can just show your legs. <laughs> they Which don't belong to one. Which one? <laughs> yeah, beautiful. I was doing a little bit of work online this morning, so I'm a little bit late. So I have a choir, sheep and pig choir, this morning. So with Steve's expert assistance yesterday, look who I managed to capture. Yes, you're going to come and get some food. We only got three of them. The fourth one wasn't with the others. So I actually have no idea where the fourth one is. I will go on a little bit of a search. But these three were in the big pen managed to catch them so three of the rascals are here i don't know where the fourth one is didn't come with the others yes you naughty little monkeys so i've had uh, some people last night coming around to collect their christmas parcel delivery of baked goods um this i've put on the gate now for the girls uh, when they walk past to herd their sheep and goats, um, they can pick up some of their baked good treats for the season. Picked a whole lot of uh, cabbage. Are they not going to grow into actual cabbages? It's just lots of leaves, but that's fine because that's what the pigs eat. So I've been feeding cabbages to the animals this morning. So even <laughs> Ruby's got some cabbage leaves. She's pulled it out of the hay feed over here but she's eating hay isn't it as well <laughs> so interestingly ruby chose this morning not to go out with the others i think she knows that um baby is still too small to maybe follow everybody although i still haven't seen baby drinking but it's definitely <laughs> very strong because it was running around like a crazy thing earlier this morning so uh, it's filled with energy but she's enjoying the hay in the hay feeder aren't you ruby yes so i think there's usually like about three days to keep in um as i said I, i'm not keeping her locked in um the there is the selenium um, mineral lick is in their little house um and she does go in there so uh, i do give the selenium mineral lick um which they have free access to and they all take advantage of um just in case there's not enough minerals and whatever they're getting so they've got the extra there oh we're lying down now after we were running around like a crazy thing such a strong land this one yeah because molly was much smaller and molly was quite it was actually touch and go for a little while with molly initially because she didn't she was struggling to latch on and uh, to drink, um, had to sort of help her to drink for the first week almost. But 
And Kim did a great job with that because I was away when Molly was born. Molly was born in like a rainstorm. So I'm very pleased that uh, Ruby waited till the weather was not quite as cold as it's been and uh, had her baby then. But you've got lots of milk. You enjoying this hay? You're really making a meal of it. You messed a lot of it out though. Yeah, everybody just wanted to see the baby, but now look at him. He's like lying down. He's got one uh, at the, so the his front legs and the front part of him are black, and then he's got this white band, and then one black back leg and the other black uh, back leg is white. I need to just double check dates, because this might be William's first one first uh, might be the father of this one I need to double check because Henry was away from the farm in July and August so it could be Williams Henry was servicing one of my Portuguese neighbors Suffolk herd I have to make some more Christmas deliveries. So I am the old uh, overweight Christmas fairy who uh, ate obviously too many Christmas mince pies bringing Nick and Andrea their Christmas pasta. Just about three hours work. Yeah, definitely. Brilliant. Christmas deliveries for the day done. So uh, time to go and do some online work. Pigs out grazing. Beautiful day today. I'm doing some uh, weeding. So I've got... Um, some nice greens for the mums. Are you ready for some greens? And I must refill your water. You're hiding up there, Ruby. I'm just going to put some, uh, I've got some lucerne to put in. She's made a right royal mess of the hay. She's eaten quite a bit. The others will polish it off when they come here. Yes, Ruby, you're going to come and get some food. Oh, look, we're running around. We were sprinting this morning. Look, 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 look. Oh, my goodness, those legs. <laughs> He's got long legs. Yes. Let me get you some lucerne. You want to get first dibs on the lucerne? Because hmm? you guys love it and I couldn't give it to you when you were heavily pregnant. Because it would have been too much protein for you. There we go. Let's try and get it out of the bag. Oh, loving that. Now you're making milk, we can give you some lucerne. So you don't actually get like the bales of lucerne over here. 
I buy like the packets of lucerne, which is actually supposed to be for rabbits. But then I'll give it to the sheep every now and then as a treat. But I'm letting Ruby have first dibs here because she's busy making milk. Yep, and Ruby's got some of the green weeds as well, which she's chomping down rapidly. But she might be able to go out to the baby tomorrow. We'll see. He's quite strong. Oh, listen to that little cry. Yes, you're hiding. Are you hiding away? So, um, Steve brought me this cool fan that fits on your wood burner. It's metal. And you put it on your wood burner and the heat from the wood burner generates the electricity to run the fan that, yeah, distributes the hot air, I suppose, all around the room. How cool is that? Thank you, Steve. Get a pizza apple. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Oh, my goodness, you snatching it all. You're a bit greedy. You want some apple too? Here we go. And you? Oh my god, you snitched this one again! There you go. He won't let you get some. You're just taking it all. What about little Ginger? Yes, I'm trying to get to you. There you go. You got your apple. So they're all going tomorrow. Different homes. So you'll hear Mizzy Lizzie in the background. She um, missed her calling as uh, an opera singer. So uh, she's trying out for, I don't know, New York Opera maybe. I think, Mizzy Lizzie. I was wondering what this noise is. It seemed to have caught a, a mouse, which I'm sure. Cats aren't around this morning. They're in the house. When the cats come, they've got a little mouse to play with. Hey, Ruby, are you hanging back again today? Or are you wanting to spend Another day inside with the baby. Hmm? Are you wanting to spend another day inside with your little boy? Of course, the rest of you are all ready to go out. He's hanging back a little bit, so he might be wanting to stay in again, eh? Oh my goodness, Freckles, you are such a bully. Seriously? You've always got to be in the front. In the front. Yes, look at you. Look at you. Why are you climbing up? You stayed. You've chosen to stay behind, eh? Let me give you some food. Huh? Let me give you some food. Yeah. He's so strong, this little one. He runs around and jumps and everything. Hey, you're a jumpy boy. Yes. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Hmm? Look at him with his one white leg and one black leg. Some lucerne. <laughs> yeah, you get treats. Hey, you get special treats over here. Yeah. 
Here we go. Special treats. Build up your milk supply. And you? Yes. Look at you. He is so big. Oh my goodness. I suppose this is what happens when you eat acorns and olives when you are pregnant. Yes, you end up with a very big lamb. Yes. He's probably, look at the size of his legs. His legs are almost as thick as his mother's legs. Seriously. You got solid legs there. Still trying to figure out how he bends himself to lie down. <laughs> hey. Quite a bit of activity at the beehive. I can see them flying in and out all the time. But I've searched everywhere this morning for that um, missing ginger boy piglet because I had the other three come back but not the fourth one. Can't find him anywhere. No sign of him anywhere. All I can think of is that um, a predator has taken him. So uh, that's sort of a bit sad, especially for him. But this is why someone said, oh, I should be letting the um, mothers out to graze with the babies. But the thing is, Jelly Bean was out grazing with her babies, but the babies can fit through the sheep fencing. And, um, it's, and so they can go under the electric fencing and then through the sheep fencing. So you can't keep those babies and you end up like a situation like I was in now where it's taken basically three weeks to try and catch those babies. So um, for their own safety and to protect from predators, it's better to have them in like the maternity ward pen and as soon as the babies are, are weaned and sold, the mothers go into the grassy area. Um, for their safety, that's the best. I spot a cat. I wonder if it would like a mouse. It has the mouse. Hopefully, it's not going to end up in my room. So, I've got to get into the Christmas spirit. I mean, I even gave the cat a special present. So, I'm going to start loading up this wood because I don't want to leave it lying here because um, it starts rotting eventually. So this, I can now, I've got enough space to start stacking this in the wood store. So that's the plan. <laughs>
number one. The mouth isn't dead yet. The cat is just playing with it. <laughs> the dog chasing it. The mouse starts creeping away, then the cat jumps on it again, and then it creeps away. Yeah. So I have these nice collars. I want to see if I can get on some of these sheep while they're waiting at the gate to go out. I might be able to get it around their necks. We'll see. Yeah, I need a bit of help with this. Um, I need someone to hold the sheep while I put this around their neck. So that I'm going to have to wait to try and do. But I need someone to, yeah, hold their neck. I thought that I would um, be able to, as they're getting at the gates, they got their heads here, but they're very clever <laughs> the only ones willing to get the collars are the ones that already have collars on <laughs> yes freckles you always up for everything except in getting this collar on yeah i need someone to sort of like sit on you baby is nice and strong still i'm wondering if <laughs> See, he's running around. I'm wondering if Ruby's going to be able to go out today with him. We'll see. She might be ready to go. She's at the gate. At least she's not standing back this morning. So he might be able to go down the road today. Let's see. Right. Those collars we'll have to try later. Yeah, Ruby's ready to go. Are you ready to go out this morning? No, you're still staying in. You're still staying in? Okay. So you want some food over here then. Right? She's not ready to go out. Are you coming out now? But you don't want to leave him in there. Hey? You don't want to leave him in there. Okay, let me give you your food. Let me give you your food over here. Come. Let's put your food in your... There you go. Okay. Yeah. I'm giving uh, Ruby agency and letting her choose when she is ready. She knows when she's ready to go out. You're making a little noise. Oh, oh, oh. Are you running? Hello. Are you coming to say hello? I've noticed something quite interesting uh, today. Um, Ruby was actually uh, running up and down and letting the little one run next to her. It was like she was training him or <laughs> I don't know. There was no reason. She just like did like a slow run up and then uh, up to the mushroom rock at the top. And then a slow run down, and then another run up again. Um, it's like she's sort of training him to get stronger. I mean, I've never seen that or heard of that. So, but she's such a good mother. So, yeah, she's not ready to go out yet. She's obviously wanting him to get a little bit stronger before she goes out with the others. So, she's staying behind. She doesn't want to even go out the gate. And he's drinking. Can see when he's getting milk when his tail starts wagging it was wagging just now but i'm going to give her some um 
some hay for the day. But yeah, I thought I'd just share that with you. This, her sort of like training him, you know, like trotting up and down next to the fence so that he runs next to her. It's, it's I've never seen that before. I was quite impressed. <laughs> yes, you want some hay? Hmm? <laughs> Ruby's really burrowing into the hay. You got hay on your head, Ruby. Look how pretty she looks with her collar on, but I do think I've put the collar on upside down, so it's probably going to fall off. Hey. So Sweetie Pie's um, two girls are going to their new homes, home today, um, along with two of Jelly Bean's boys. And the other boy is going to his new home to someone who bought um, two girls from me earlier in the year. So, um, yeah, the boys and these two girls are from different litters. So they are actually going to be breeding pairs. And for people that ask what I do with the piglets, um, why I have so many pigs, is I actually sell piglets to other people with homesteads, um, often people with like, young children because this is a great pig to have as a farm animal slash pet for a young family. So uh, that's what happens to piglets. They go off to forever homes with loving families. But um, because I used my enticing them into the cage strategy I happen to get in Tim Tam's three piglets as well so I'm just leaving them there for the moment and when the people come to uh, collect they should be here at any moment um, then I will let out jelly beans three piglets yes you three cute boys you're all going soon to your new homes They've adapted to being in the chicken coop after their three weeks of free reign. Mm. Yes. Yes. Are you a sweetheart? You're a real sweetheart. You are. You little fatty bum bum. Mm. Always sad when piglets go, but I can't keep them all, and they going to loving homes. So. If you're interested in gifting someone my recipe book around the world on 80 plus plates um, it's available on amazon and in ebook and print uh, paperback format um, the links for them are in the descriptor below thank you so much for your support so i'm wanting to put um a top onto these cupboards Let me see. Two of them together are 158. Yep, two together are 158. And then. And then the 
it's going to be, so it's 158 and 42, just to give me a rough idea, 158 and 42. So that's it for today's video. So stay sane, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.